Proper hygiene is of important value as of now since we are currently facing a pandemic. Sanitization means to clean or disinfect an object or a part of the body. It can be done in many ways. Alcohol sanitization is proven to be more useful for humans because it is harmless on the skin surface. It easily vaporizes and kills bacteria and viruses and even removes unnecessary dirt in our hand. Normal alcohol dispensers are very common and are used almost everywhere. However, as we are currently experiencing a pandemic, minimizing contact to both objects and people is very important. A normal dispenser requires touching it in order to release the alcohol, and repeatedly touching the dispenser may initiate contact and transfer of bacteria from one person to another, which is very risky. By using an automated alcohol dispenser, there will be no need for direct contact because just by doing a swift move below the sensor, the alcohol would be automatically released. Since the COVID-19 pandemic is already started, our local government have been working to identify different ways to control the virus since the outbreak began. They also introduced a touch tracing scheme which provides an idea about the use of an automated alcohol dispenser. First question, which among the two regular alcohol dispensers or automated alcohol dispensers is effective to the society in terms of waste field? Second, chemical limited, and lastly, productivity. Second question, how effective is the touchless dispenser to the increase of cases of COVID-19? We need to find the answer to lower the COVID cases with an automated alcohol dispenser. And last question, how effective is the automated dispenser in public area? We need to find the answer of this question to lessen the body contacts of the people. The purpose of this study is to improve the health security of every individual. The research can use to gather data to identify the advantages of using an automated alcohol dispenser. Additionally, the study may help the government enhance the safety management plan against the virus. Aside from that, the research may be helpful for the people who are interested in improvising and learning about the study. The scope of the study is limited to prototype an automated alcohol dispenser using an Arduino. Arduino is an gadget to innovate against the spread of virus, COVID-19. The prototype is mainly use of wood to avoid using plastics and also avoid chemicals can be achieved. An ultrasonic sensor is also used to detect a person's palms, but accuracy can be also hard to achieve due to the location of the nozzle. This research is a contribution to the healing of the planet's ozone layer by lessening the amount of plastic dispensers used. The obtained data gathered would help the government improve the safety management for the people to identify the advantages of the gadget against the virus. Other results gathered by researchers can benefit the environment's waste management also. The given data may be used to enhance the movement by minimizing the effect of getting infected through physical contact with an object. This, does, this study may also be used as a future reference in case people would like to improve and gain knowledge on how it functions. Thank you. The materials needed for the project are the Arduino Uno with its, with its components, the SD card module, SD card with storage size of 8GB, amplifier with its speaker, the ultrasonic sensor, OLED LCD display with the size of 128 by 64, H bridge, mini pump, and MDF wood with white glue for the structure of the project. All of these materials, such as the Arduino Uno, along with the MD MDF wood and glue, can be gathered through shopping online. All the functions, such as the sound display and the sensor, will be coded through Arduino, Arduino Uno. The schematic flowchart 
shows how the project will work. The components of the Arduino Uno, such, such as the sensor, which will be the output on the program, the, min, the mini pump, the sound, the display, which will be the output of the program. And they are all connected in the Arduino Uno. Materials and methods. Firstly, we have to achieve the gathering of materials. Secondly is the coating. Thirdly is assembling of the prototype. Fourthly is the testing of product prototype. And lastly, we have the gathering of data. So this is the 3D model. It has a 3mm foam board that will serve as a base for the prototype. A water bottle is also found inside where it is connected to the materials that will serve as the main source of the alcohol. In the model, you can see that there are light eyes which is the ultrasonic sensor. Below that is a nozzle where the alcohol will release. From below the nozzle is the OLED where the message can pop out. Arduino will be used to program the components for the detection and dispense of alcohol. Connected by breadboard cables, the SD card will be used to store the data for the program and also it is connected to OLED and LCD display that will be used as the indicator after the function are done. Amplifier with speaker will be used as a sound indicator and will activate at the same time same the sensor is activated H bridge it will be used as the power supply for the motor it is connected to the motors to operate while the motors is connected to mini pump to work and the mini pump will be used to dispense the alcohol so in this process of assembling the prototype as you can see on the peak on the photo in our paper. It is our illustration on how to assemble it. This product can be used by the people, either electricity or just AA batteries. It is a 700 milliliters that is already after use for dispensing alcohol. Our blueprint and our blueprint shows that to protect the entire product, MDF wood and foam board are used. Are used. It is the foundation and the base it should be of good quality so that it is difficult to break. The alcohol is stored in the water bottle and the ultrasonic sensor sense, senses your palm or hand. Your palm or hand. So that it can release alcohol on its own. Plus, it is through the ballpen cup that the alcohol is flowing and when the dispenser release an alcohol that release an alcohol. Dispenser itself will light with the help of OLED. In the process of testing the product, we can say that, the, that this is very efficient to use. How does it work? Well, this product works by just placing your hand underneath it and it will dispense an alcohol with the help of ultrasonic sen sensor. Though this mechanism doesn't operate on it in its own, we still need to refill this plastic bottle in order for it to release some alcohol. As, as we all know, that the that common hand sanitizer dispenser, which is the one that you will pump and it will release alcohol or sanitizer. But we thought about this product, especially, especially in our season. So for the gathering of our data, it's just a simple intent of, for the people. Um, this product is intended for reducing or preventing the transmission of the virus to the people. Especially nowadays, it is a... a it is a contactless product, so it is a great help and great most and great news most likely in public areas. That's all. Good day everyone. I'm here to talk about the project cost analysis. The total projected cost analysis of this research is 3,305 pesos. The prices are ranging from 20 to 1,500 pesos. Most of the materials can be bought on D. Wang Leong Electronics Equipment Corporation. It is found on Capo Manila. These materials are for the circuitry of the prototype. The only material that was expensive was the Arduino because it cost 1,500 pesos by itself. The cheapest material we had to buy was the bottle. It cost only for 20 pesos 
this is also the easiest to buy amongst the materials needed. The total price is divided into seven students, meaning the contribution of every student is 473 pesos. Overall, this project can be affordable for those working by group. Individual-wise, it can be overpriced. That is all. Thank you.